I'm so happy you're here. I love animals and we have found the cutest animals on TikTok. My mom is gonna surprise me and you with the cutest animal videos. Then we're gonna do the yoga pose for that animal. My mom saved the very best one for last and you're not gonna wanna miss this. To do this yoga today, you need to wear anything comfy and bare feet. Get them. Those were the cutest bunnies ever. We're gonna do our bunny breath. So let's wrinkle our nose and we're gonna breathe in through our nose three times. And then we're gonna do a long exhale out. Let's do it again, three little inhales. Good bunny breaths and long exhale out. One last time. Beautiful job. <laughs> this one's kind of funny. <laughs> it's really cute and funny. Giraffes are my very favorite animal. They just look so cool and they're so gentle and calm. So we are gonna do giraffe pose. We're gonna come into warrior one. So let's turn our hips to the side and we're gonna step back with one foot. So our hips are still facing the side. Our back foot is slightly turned out. And then let's bring our hands up into warrior one, but let's make a giraffe head with our hands, pointing our fingertips forward. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Beautiful giraffe pose. And let's release our hands down and we can turn around to the other side. So let's turn to the other side. We can step the other foot back this time. Good, square your hips to face the side. Let's bring our hands up and then make our giraffe head. Beautiful giraffe pose. Standing nice and tall. We have nice long legs like a giraffe. Take a deep breath. Beautiful. Let's bring our hands all the way down again and step together. Oh my gosh, it looks like the kangaroo is trying to get into its pouch. Oh, it keeps falling out. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Yay, it did it! Oh my god, that was so cute. trouble getting into its mother's pouch. So let's turn to the side. We're gonna move into kangaroo or chair pose. Spread your toes, feet are hip width distance apart, and then let's sit back as if we're sitting back into a chair, but also this is the shape of the kangaroo's strong legs. And then let's bring our hands up into kangaroo arms and let's give a powerful jump. So let's bend and we're gonna hop straight up like a kangaroo, landing with bent knees. Beautiful, let's go again. Big, strong leap. Good, one last time, leap. Beautiful kangaroo pose. This is so cute, they're all like walking at the same time. <gasps> now they're going down the stairs, even cuter. I wonder where they're trying to go. So cute. Oh. They walk so funny. <laughs> Those penguins were so funny walking together. Let's do penguin pose. Let's turn our feet out and we can bring our hands to our side, flex our hands up. <sighs> 
And we can walk like a penguin. Lifting your hip up. Excellent penguin walks. Good job. Okay, let's bring our feet back in, hands down. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I've never seen a flying squirrel before, so this is like really cute for me. That flying squirrel was so cool. We are gonna do our flying squirrel jump. So we're gonna bend and then jump out like we're trying to fly. Amazing job. Again, ready, fly. Yes. Okay, let's do it one more time. Flying squirrel, fly. Amazing squirrel jump. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a flamingo that pink. And it just jogged so fast. Really fast. We are gonna do flamingo pose now. Let's turn to the side, spread your toes, find your balance on one foot, and then slowly lift your other foot off. You can grab it. If you need to hold on to something, you can hold on to something here, but if you aren't holding on to anything, you can put your other hand up like your flamingo bird here. Breathe here, find something steady to balance to look at. So preferably not looking at me, I might be moving a little bit. Look at something steady. Beautiful, let's release down. We can do that on the other side. So find your balance on the other foot. Bend your other leg. And you can either hold on to something to balance here or bring your hand up. Beautiful flamingo pose. Release out, let's shake it out. Oh, this is so cute! It's eating strawberries, that's so cute! Oh my gosh, I am just like ex obsessed with the face. It's so cute. That outfit on the monkey was so cute. We're gonna do a pose where it looks like we are a monkey hanging from a tree branch. We're gonna do wide-legged forward fold, but turn around from the back so it looks like we're hanging from a tree branch. So I'm gonna turn around. Let's bring our feet as wide as we can apart, and then pigeon toe your toes in a little bit, keeping your legs straight. Let's bring our hands to our hips, and then fold forward, taking the weight into your toes. And then you can swing back and forth like you're a monkey hanging from a tree branch. Side to side. Good job. All right, when you're ready, let's keep a straight spine. Come all the way back up. We can hop together and I'll turn around so that you can see me. Oh, oh my gosh. I love how it's like flipping. It's really cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, <laughs> really cute. <laughs> okay. I cannot believe that that panda could do flipping like that. We're gonna do wild thing panda pose. So let's take our feet out on the mat. This is the hardest pose, so if you don't get it perfect, don't worry. We're gonna bend our back leg and come up onto your tippy toes. Take the same arm as leg that's straight and place it behind you. And now we're gonna press into that toe and come up into an arc wild thing pose. Beautiful job. Let's come back down again and we can do that on the other side. Placing your legs out, sitting up tall, bending your back foot and then pop up, come onto the ball of your foot, place same arm as your straight leg behind you, and then press your hips into the air, wild thing or panda pose. Beautiful job. And let's come down again. Oh my gosh, the bear is dancing down in the woods. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, that one was amazing. 
It's so cute! I'm so obsessed with this one! It's so cute! It's so cute! Now I wish I had a bear as a pet. You are a cute one. <laughs> that little bear in the pool was so cute. I bet Vivian wants one now. However, we do have bears in our area and they just go through our trash. So we're gonna do bear walks now. Let's come to all fours. Let's tuck our toes under, exhale, tighten up your tummy, lift your knees off, and then we're gonna move opposite hand and foot to walk forward, walk forward, walk back, walk back, walk back, walk forward, forward, and come down. Amazing job. Oh my gosh, that is really cute, but really funny too. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> That was so cute. We're gonna do camel pose now. Let's come up onto our knees. And let's place our hands on our lower back, fingertips down, point your elbows right back. And then imagine a string lifting your head up and then slightly tip back. Beautiful, making the shape of a hump like a camel has. And then we'll come back up, exhale, tighten your tummy, and let's come back up. Amazing camel pose. Oh my god, this is so cute! <laughs> Guys, this is so cute! Oh my god. It's so funny! Oh, I was really cute. <laughs> so cute. That one was a good one, guys. These baby kittens are so cute. Let's do cat pose. We can come to all fours again. And in cat pose, we round out our back like a black cat arching their back. Exhale, round out. Separate through your shoulder blades at your back and then drop your head. Beautiful. Let's come back to a neutral spine. Look up just ahead of you. Let's do cat one more time. Exhale, round out through your back. Beautiful cat pose. Coming back to our neutral position. That is the cutest cat ever. Look how it's like walking in the grass towards the camera. That's so cute. Now moving into cow pose. We're gonna arch our back. Tip your tailbone up, look up. Good. Coming back to a neutral spine. Let's arch again. Beautiful cow pose. Come back to your neutral spine. Is this actually a frog? It <laughs> looks so funny. Now I kind of want a frog. The cow is just like. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so funny. Oh wow. <laughs> frogs on top of each other. Cool. Those frogs did such cute things. Let's do our froggy hops now. So we can crouch down into our froggy position. Your heels can pop off the floor and we're gonna jump as high as we can. Are you ready? And froggy hop. Beautiful. Again, froggy hop. Let's keep going. Jump, jump, jump. Landing lightly, jump, jump, jump. Keep going, just a couple more. Last one, whoo, amazing froggy hops. Whoa, I can like see through its wings. 
it's like there's glass and the glass is blue. It's so pretty and it's like opening its wings. Naturally pretty. Those glass winged butterflies are so beautiful. Let's move into butterfly pose or Baddha Konasana and we can put our feet together, let your knees flop out, sit nice and tall so you're not rounding out through your back at all. And let's take a couple of breaths here, big inhale through your nose, exhale, inhale, exhale, beautiful butterfly pose. Let's flap our knees like butterfly wings. Excellent job, release them open again, beautiful. That's a far jump. And they're super cute. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so cute. I want one of those. Mm, it's so cute. Besides the very last one, this moho bush baby, I think might be the cutest thing ever. And it looked almost like they were in a yogi squat. So let's come up and bring your feet apart and you can squat into your yogi squat. If your heels come off, that's totally okay. Let's bring our hands together and then press our knees out. Find length in your spine opening up through your chest. Beautiful yogi squat. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. It looks like, um, I think this is a girl. She's like licking the top of her brother's or sister's top of the head. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, that was really cute. <laughs> This one for a line is a little bit of a funny pose, but I like to do it first thing in the morning if I'm tired to help wake up also. So we're gonna do lion face, and we're gonna stick our tongues out and open up our eyes wide as we go. I know it looks kind of funny, but it feels really good. Are you ready to do it again? Amazing lion breath. <laughs> Ew, this is like so cute. She's like brushing a spoon along the dog's back. Oh, that was really funny and cute. <laughs> I just loved that sleeping puppy. It was my absolute favorite. I couldn't believe that it didn't wake up when it started rubbing with the spoon. All right, so for our sleeping position, we're gonna do our final pose, Shavasana. So we can get down onto our backs. And you can take your feet a little bit wide apart and then open your hands up kind of halfway between your body and T position, palms facing up. And let's take a big breath in and sigh out. <sighs> Letting any tension go. One more time, big breath in and sigh out. <sighs> you can close your eyes and imagine that you are in a beautiful field and you can see clouds over top of you and butterflies flying around. Let yourself feel heavy on the ground. Maybe you can feel grass underneath you. All right, let's wiggle our fingers and toes and stretch them in opposite direction. Let's roll over onto our side and come up into a seated position. Let's bring our hands together and say namaste. You are an epic yogi. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you wanna see more yoga videos, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and we will keep creating new kids workouts every week. Also, if you wanna vote for your favorite cutest animal, go over to the community tab and you can vote for your favorite animal there.